you think that Trump is actually still in power right now? Mm -hmm. What do you think? So you think Biden is not the current president right no, now? No, sir. No. No, sir. I never believed it. So Trump is the current president right now? Yes, sir. So are you mad at Trump for the no. high ga gas prices? No, no, no. It's not Trump's fault. He's, Who's, he's, whose fault is it then? It's Joe. It's, he's got to set all this. But Joe up. Biden, where's Joe Biden? He said he's not president. He's not the president. Okay. okay. What I'm trying to say is. So how could the gas prices be his fault if he's, if he's not president? What? You don't understand what they're trying to do. They have okay. to wake up the dingleberries that are still asleep. Okay. So that right there is uh, the good liars who obviously do great work. And I think uh, the, the interviews they do on the street are absolutely the best. It's one of my favorite genres of political stuff and they are a great example of it. Um, but there what you see is it is holding two ideas that just fundamentally are at odds with each other. That secretly I don't like that Biden is president. I like uh, the Trump. So obviously Trump is actually president because if he wasn't that implies that someone I like was beaten, I can't accept that, so he's president. But also things are kind of rough, gas prices are going up. That's obviously Brandon's fault. So, but the problem is when you mash those together, that doesn't actually work, Viviana. It doesn't, and I actually felt bad for that dingleberry because he was still asleep and somebody needs to wake him up. I don't think that there was a real reason to come no, here, I think I it's just a show. I, it's not even think, I know there's no real reason. I know it in my heart, I know it in my spirit. He has never lied about anything. Many of the supporters were saying to me that the FBI and the Department of Justice are corrupt. I was quick to point out to them that it was Donald Trump who appointed Christopher Wray as director of the FBI, but they continued to say that he was corrupt. We also talked about Hillary Clinton's emails. I reminded them that it was Donald Trump who called for an investigation into uh, her classified emails, uh, but the irony was lost on them. They continued to say that he didn't do anything wrong and she did. So that is uh, Randy Kay of CNN um, doing God's work in talking to these people who I I would describe as definitely sane. Yeah. No, they're look, they're retirees with a lot of time on their hand and not a lot of critical thinking skills. They believe whatever they're told by Jesse Waters, and this is what you get based on that. Uh, no, none of those facts are gonna get through them. It's great that Randy Kay tried to remind them that, like, no, he picked all these people. Why does he keep picking corrupt people if he's the best? If he's the best, the best people, why does he keep people keep picking these people who are actually corrupt and inevitably it turns out that they're in the deep state or whatever? Um, the, the fact that he got them to chant lock her up for years about her having an email server or whatever, but him literally stealing boxes of documents and refusing to give them back. It isn't even that now that he's been raided, they're willing to say, oh, they're both bad. So let's like, let's forget about it. No, they're saying he's still not bad, despite him using his personal phone and basically everyone in the White House doing exactly what it was that infuriated them for so many years with Hillary Clinton. It doesn't make them both bad, he's still fine. Trump 2024, do you, what do you think about that? Definitely Trump. He was better than Biden is now. What's been going on recently with the Roe v. Wade getting overturned, what do you think about that? I think women should definitely have a right to choose whatever is best for them. They're taking away women's rights. But you would vote for Donald Trump again? If I could vote, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Did you know that Trump actually appointed the three court justices that overturned Roe v. Wade? No. Do you think that contradicts a little bit what you're saying? Yeah. I am really unsure about who I'd vote for at this point. Does that change your opinion like on voting for him? Yeah. So Trump is like a now maybe? Yeah. Is it Trump 2024? Yeah. Five minutes ago, Trump was like a definite yes. It's hard to know at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. I absolutely love that. That is uh, Derek Riddle, uh, Dexter Shack on uh, TikTok. Definitely go to Dexter uh, Dexter Shack on TikTok. Uh, a number of other videos and interviews like that. Uh, I have all the respect for the in the world for the people who risk their sanity and potentially their bodily health to do interviews like this at these sorts of events. But um, that was interesting. Of course, anecdotal. God only knows. You know, if you were to poll all Trump supporters, what they would think, but. Um, we cannot overestimate how much people know about what politicians have actually done and not done. One would think that they would know that this conservative supermajority was delivered by Donald Trump. He certainly loves to brag about that, but possibly many conservatives don't. 